Hi guys, it's Emily from Resident Free Girl here, back with another Vlogmas video for you all. It is the last day of school and I have a kid that is sick. Of course I do. So we're going to do a bit of a sick vlog. I've got to go and pick up some medication for him. I've got to go and um, do some things today, run around and stay tuned for that. Don't forget if you like this kind of content to like, comment, subscribe, click the little notification bell to be notified when I post new videos, which is every other day. And I'll catch you in the next video. So I started off by making him a Starmanade drink. It's just a powdered electrolyte drink, just like Powerade or Gatorade. Uh, it's just cheaper to buy it in the container and make it yourself. So he's having a lemon lime Starmanade. And we went to the doctors and we found out he has tonsillitis. So we're grabbing some antibiotics from the chemist and then we're gonna pop into the Drake's, which is next door because tonsillitis isn't contagious and grab a free piece of fruit for kids and a bottle of three liter milk. I'm gonna make him a chicken noodle soup for lunch, which will be nice on his throat and help him. And I'm going to boil some water with a little bit of essential oils in it to make the house smell really nice. I'm gonna go around with eucalyptus um, disinfected and do all of the handles and light switches and just disinfect everything because it's the time of year where we get absolutely everything. Tonsillitis might not be contagious, but the kids are gonna bring stuff home from school for the last, for the holidays, and I don't feel like everyone being sick for six weeks. So we're gonna give the house a quick once over. So off to do sit in the car park for an hour before school run a school pickup. I've got these two little cups because I've got two kids with blueberries and strawberries to hopefully keep the mess away. And he's gonna go sit in the cup holders between them, and we're gonna go hang. I had to pop up to the kids' school because they called me and said they had something for me, and I got this awesome the crystals mine, but the puffy thing and the um, shiny thing with my name on it and the little thank you heart and. This beautiful little engraved thing that says, "May you be proud of the hang on, will you be proud of the work you do, the person you are, and the difference you make for volunteering for the PNC this year." So, isn't that cool? It's a nice little present, and it even came with a couple of Ferrero Rochers and a certificate of appreciation. So that brightened my day. So I promised my daughter if she didn't cut her hair again for the entire term that I would cut it for her and dye it. So that's what we're doing. My boy wanted blue, my girl wanted red. We gave him an undercut to help with the heat over the school holidays. And I think she looks so cute with this little bob and side swept fringe. And here's my 10 year olds. He really wanted blue, so we bleached him and through Blue Live, which I have all of these hair dyes book free um, through his hair and we'll shave it off before the end of school. Sick kids means broths and soups. So I'm going to make a faux-ish dish. I've got some chicken stock from the fridge. I have some chicken. I have this rice macaroni I got from the Asian shop to try. I think it was like $2. So I was excited to try that. I have some coriander from the garden. I have some bok choy left over, ginger, garlic, soy sauce, fish sauce, salt and pepper. And I'm just going to make this in my pot with the steamer basket so that I don't have to do anything separately. Oh, and a chili from my freezer. While my broth was cooking, I got everything chopped up and trimmed up, ready to go. There is everything else ready to go. And I got it all beautiful. Look at it, it's so dark. I had to use dark soy sauce because I was out of normal gluten-free soy sauce. So it's a bit darker than usual. I threw the steam basket in and I cooked the peas first because they'll take the longest. Then I threw the rice macaroni in there, the chicken and the bok choy just to give it a go and threw it all together. This was a super fun and easy way to do this. I think I'm going to do more things like this in the future. I was just able to lift out the basket and make up everybody's however they wanted it. Uh, spicy for me and my son. My partner doesn't eat any wet meat so he made himself I think some chicken noodles or something.
And then my darling daughter decided that she wanted to be a YouTuber and that she was going to do a little cleaning video for you guys. So she's just resetting the dining room for me here after dinner, putting it all the chairs away. And then she's even gonna wipe it down. And she put um, the herbs that I picked from the garden, some parsley because my parsley plant is going crazy. I had them in a jar on the counter so that they could stay fresh and she's decided that that was like a bouquet of flowers and honestly it's really cute so that's where it's going to stay and she's packing up this little area over here where she dumped her school bag and took her shoes off and just made a bit of a mess so she's going to clean that up for me which is really helpful and nice and then I am going to go and make a food delivery a friend wanted me to pick up a bunch of stuff for him for his work week and he was going to pay me ten dollars on top for the delivery it's probably less than a kilometer to drive to the Coles and then to his house and home so I felt like ten dollars was pretty good and he also gave me a dozen eggs there at the end which you'll see for a tip so that's pretty good She's cleaning up a little mess she saw here. My boy has found my hot glue gun and he is running around shooting it like a gun. So I'm gonna take that off him in a minute. And I was actually working at the dining room table while she was doing this and my phone was set up. So here's the stuff I had to pick up. I had to pick up 48 bottles of water, 10 bottles of soft drink and five Maxims for him. So I ended up getting paid $55. It worked out to be $43.76 at Coles. So I made that and then I got tipped a dozen eggs, which would be about $5. And these are homegrown, fresh, organic. So I think that's pretty good. Not too bad for about 30 minutes. Thanks guys for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one.